Eindhoven. Eindhoven is the fifth largest city in a municipality of the Netherlands. It had a population of 229,126 in 2018, making it the largest city in the province of North Brabant, although S. Herdogenbosch is its capital. Eindhoven was originally located at the confluence of the Dommel and Gender. Neighboring cities and towns include Sun en Bruegel, Noonan, Geldrop Mirlo, Heesleend, Waar, Veldhoven, Eersel, Oershot, and Best. The agglomeration has a population of. The metropolitan area consists of inhabitants. The city region has a population of 753,426. The Brabantse Stedenre combined metropolitan area has about 2 million inhabitants. The name derives from the contraction of the regional word Zind, meaning last or end, and Hove, or Hove, a section of some 14 hectares of land. Toponymically, Eind occurs commonly as a prefix and postfix in local place and street names. A Hove comprised a parcel of land which a local lord might lease to private persons, such as farmers. Given that a string of such parcels existed around Wonsel, the name Eindhoven may have originated with the meaning last Hoves on the land of Wonsel. The written history of Eindhoven started in 1232, when Duke Hendrik I of Brabant granted city rights to Eindhoven, then a small town right on the confluence of the Dummel and Gender streams. At the time of granting of its charter, Eindhoven had approximately 170 houses enclosed by a rampart. Just outside the city walls stood a small castle. The city was also granted the right to organize a weekly market, and the farmers in nearby villages were obliged to come to Eindhoven to sell their produce. Another factor in its establishment was its location on the trade route from Holland to the Liege. Around 1388, the city's fortifications were strengthened further. And between 1413 and 1420, a new castle was built within the city walls. In 1486, Eindhoven was plundered and burned by troops from Gelders. The reconstruction of Eindhoven was finished in 1502, with a stronger rampart and a new castle. However, in 1543 it fell again, its defense works having been neglected due to poverty. A big fire in 1554 destroyed 75% of the houses but by 1560 these had been rebuilt with the help of William I of Orange. During the Dutch Revolt, Eindhoven changed hands between the Dutch and the Spanish several times during which it was burned down by renegade Spanish soldiers, until finally in 1583 it was captured once more by Spanish troops and its city walls were demolished. Eindhoven did not become part of the Netherlands until 1629. During the French occupation, Eindhoven suffered again with many of its houses destroyed by the invading forces. Eindhoven remained a minor city after that until the start of the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution of the 19th century provided a major growth impulse. Canals, roads and railroads were constructed. Eindhoven was connected to the major zoo at Willemsvaart Canal through the Eindhoven's Connell branch in 1843 and was connected by rail to Tilburg, S. Herdogenbosch, Venlo in Belgium between 1866 and 1870. Industrial activities initially centered around tobacco and textile and boomed with the rise of lighting and electronics giant Philips, which was founded as a light bulb manufacturing company in Eindhoven in 1891. Industrialization brought population growth to Eindhoven. At the establishment of the Kingdom of the Netherlands in 1815, Eindhoven had 2,310 inhabitants. By 1920, the population was 47,946, by 1925 it was 63,870 and in 1935 that had ballooned to 103,030. The explosive growth of industry in the region and the subsequent housing needs of workers called for radical changes in administration, as the city of Eindhoven was still confined to its medieval moat city limits. In 1920, the five neighboring municipalities of Wonsel, to the north, Tonjelre, northeast and east, Stratum, southeast, Gestel and Blartham, southwest and Strijp, west, which already bore the brunt of the housing needs and related problems, were incorporated into the new Groot Eindhoven. Greater Eindhoven Municipality. The prefix Groot was later dropped. After the incorporation of 1920, the five former municipalities became districts of the municipality of Eindhoven, with Eindhoven Centrum, the city proper forming the sixth. Since then, an additional seventh district has been formed by dividing the largest district, that of Wonsel, into Wonsel Zuid and Wonsel Nord. The early 20th century saw additions in technical industry with the advent of car and truck manufacturing company Van Dorn's Automobile Fabrique, DAF and the subsequent shift towards electronics and engineering, 
with the traditional tobacco and textile industries waning and finally disappearing in the 1970s. A first air raid in World War II was flown by the RAF on December 6, 1942 targeting the Phillips factory downtown. 148 civilians died, even though the attack was carried out on a Sunday by low-flying mosquito bombers. Large-scale air raids, including the bombing by the Luftwaffe on 18 September during Operation Market Garden, destroyed large parts of the city. The reconstruction that followed left very little historical remains and the post-war reconstruction period saw drastic renovation plans in high-rise style, some of which were implemented. At the time, there was little regard for historical heritage. During the 1960s, a new city hall was built in its neo-Gothic predecessor, 1867, demolished to make way for a planned arterial road that never materialized. The 1970s, 1980s, and 1990s saw large-scale housing developments in the districts of Wonsel Zuid and Wonsel Noord, making Eindhoven the fifth-largest city in the Netherlands. At the start of the 21st century, a whole new housing development called Meerhoven was constructed at the site of the old airport of Welschap, west of Eindhoven. The airport itself, now called Eindhoven Airport, had moved earlier to a new location, paving the way for much-needed new houses. Meerhoven is part of the Strijp district and partially lies on lands annexed from the municipality of Veldhoven. The villages and city that make up modern Eindhoven were originally built on sandy elevations between the Dummel, Gender and Tanjil Reap streams. Beginning in the 19th century, the basins of the streams themselves have also been used as housing grounds, resulting in occasional floodings in the city center. Partly to reduce flooding, the bed of the Gender stream, which flowed directly through the city center, was dammed off and filled up after the war, and the course of the Dommel was regulated. New ecological and socio historical insights have led to parts of the Dommel's course being restored to their original states and plans to have the gender flow through the center once again. The large-scale housing developments of the 20th century saw residential areas being built on former agricultural lands and woods, former heaths that had been turned into cultivable lands in the 19th century. The city is currently divided into seven districts. Eindhoven has an oceanic climate with slightly warmer summers and colder winters than the coastal parts of the Netherlands. Its all time record is set on July 26, 2018, and set on January 13, 1968, while winter lows have dipped below during extreme cold snaps. Although frosts are frequent in winter, there is no lasting snow cover in a normal winter due to the mild daytime temperatures. The population of Eindhoven consisted of 229.637 persons, according to the CBS. Of these, 29.5% or some 63,873 people are of foreign descent. People are classified as being of foreign descent when they were born outside of the Netherlands, or when at least one of their parents was born outside of Netherlands. Large minority groups include the municipal agglomeration of Eindhoven. An administrative construct which includes only some of the surrounding towns and villages, has 327,245 inhabitants as of January 1, 2010. The spoken language is a combination of Kempenlands, a Dutch dialect spoken in a large area east and southeast of the city, including Arendonk and Lommel in Belgium, and North Meiris, between the south of Den Bosch and into Eindhoven. Both dialects belong to the East Brabantian dialect group, which is very similar to colloquial Dutch. Of all Eindhoven districts, the historical center is by far the smallest in size and population, numbering only 5,419 in 2006. Wonsel Nord is the largest, having been the city's main area of expansion for several decades. Population figures for all districts, as of January 1, 2008, ranked by size. Eindhoven is located in the southeast of the province of North Brabant. This area is historically Roman Catholic and the population of Eindhoven was similarly mostly Catholic for a very long time until the late 1970s. However, the internationalizing influence of the university, Philips and other companies have created a more mixed population over the last few decades. The Eindhoven agglomeration had the following religious makeup in 2015. The spiritual needs of the Eindhoven population are tended by a large number of churches, two mosques and one synagogue. In research by the Dutch newspaper Algemeen Dagblad based on the police's statistical data on crime rates, Eindhoven was found to have the highest crime rate in the Netherlands for 2006, 2007, 2009, and 2010. In 2011, Eindhoven has slipped down the list to number 6. In 2009, in the Eindhoven agglomeration, 
the following numbers of crimes were recorded. Eindhoven has grown from a little town in 1232 to one of the biggest cities in the Netherlands with around 212,000 inhabitants in 2009. Much of its growth is due to Philips, Daft Trucks and Brabandia. After the resurrection of the Netherlands in 1815 and the end of the Belgian Revolution, Eindhoven was a small village of some 1,250 people in an economically backward and mostly agricultural area. Cheap land, cheap labor and the existence of pre-industrial home sourcing, he was Nyverheid in Dutch, made Eindhoven an attractive area for the developing industries which were being stimulated by the government of King William I. During the 19th century, Eindhoven grew into an industrial town with factories for textile weaving, cigar manufacturing, matchmaking and hat making. Most of these industries disappeared again after World War II, though. In 1891, brothers Gerard and Anton Phillips founded the small light bulb factory that would grow into one of the largest electronics firms in the world. Phillips' presence is probably the largest single contributing factor to the major growth of Eindhoven in the 20th century. It attracted and spun off many high tech companies, making Eindhoven a major technology and industrial hub. In 2005, a full third of the total amount of money spent on research in the Netherlands was spent in or around Eindhoven. A quarter of the jobs in the region are in technology and ICT, with companies such as Fake Company, once Philips Electron Optics, NXP Semiconductors, formerly Philips Semiconductors, ASML, Alton, Simac, Nuez Electronics and the aforementioned Philips and DAF. Eindhoven has long been a center of cooperation between research institutes and industry. This tradition started with Philips, the NAT Lab was a physical expression of this, and has since expanded to large cooperative networks. The Eindhoven University of Technology hosts an incubator for technology startups and the NAT Lab has developed into the high-tech campus Eindhoven. Also, TNO has opened a branch on the university campus. This tradition has also fostered inter-industry cooperation in the region. One example of this is the announcement in September 2010 of a new research lab for high-grade packaging materials, a cooperation of IPS Packaging and Thales Cryognetics. This cooperative tradition has also developed into a different direction than the traditional technology research done at the university. Starting in 2002, the university, the Katerina Hospital, Philips Medical and the University of Maastricht joined forces and started joint research into biomedical science technology and engineering. Within Eindhoven, this research has been concentrated in a new university faculty, Biomedical Technology or BMT. This development has also made Eindhoven a biomedical technology hub within the country and its, European, region. Prime examples of industrial heritage in Eindhoven are the renovated Wit Dame, White Lady, Complex, a former Philips lamp factory, and the Admirant Building informally known as Brown Hair or Brown Gentleman in reference to the Whitdame across the street, the former Phillips main offices. The Whitdame currently houses the Municipal Library, the Design Academy and a selection of shops. The Admirant has been renovated into an office building for small companies. Across the street from the Whitdame and next to the Admirant is Phillips' first light bulb factory, nicknamed Rose Baby, or Pink Baby, in reference to its pink color and much smaller size when compared to the White Lady and Brown Gentleman. The small building now houses the Centrum Kunstlicht in De Kunst, Center Artificial Light in Art, and the Philips Incandescent Lamp Factory of 1891 Museum. Due to its high-tech environment, Eindhoven is part of several initiatives to develop, foster and increase a knowledge economy. Chief among these are. As a result of these efforts, the Intelligent Community Forum named the Eindhoven Metro Region one of the top 21 intelligent communities in 2008 and one of the top 7 intelligent communities in 2009 and 2010. Finally, in 2011, the ICF named Eindhoven the Intelligent Community of the Year. Eindhoven is one of the collocation centers of the European Institute of Innovation and Technology, EIT. It hosts two knowledge and innovation communities KICS, in energy, sustainable energy, and ICT Labs, Information and Communication Technology. The co-locations are on the high-tech campus Eindhoven. Eindhoven, being a city with a 200,000 plus population, is served by a large number of schools both at primary and secondary education levels. In addition, Eindhoven is a higher education hub within the southern Netherlands, with several institutes of higher education that serve students from the extended region of North Brabant, Zeeland, Limburg and parts of the surrounding provinces. 
Primary education is provided to the children aged 4 to 12 in Namdhoven through a large number of primary schools. Secondary education is provided to the children aged 12 to 18 in Eindhoven through several high schools special needs secondary education. Eindhoven hosts four different public institutions for higher and adult education, as well as a number of private institutions offering courses and trainings. The public institutions hosted in Eindhoven are The Open University also has a study center in Eindhoven. Among the private institutions is the Centrum Boer Kunst in Eindhoven, which offers art-related courses to adults, including a DJ education. The Municipal Council is the legislative council at the municipal level in Eindhoven. Its existence is mandated by the Constitution of the Netherlands. The Eindhoven City Council consists of 45 elected representatives from the Eindhoven Municipality. These are elected during municipal elections from candidates running in Eindhoven. Eindhoven politics consists of local branches of the national political parties and purely local parties with strictly local interests. The city council reflects this mix in its makeup. The last three municipal elections were held on March 7, 2006, March 3, 2010 and March 19, 2014. The division of the 45 seats in the Eindhoven city council after these elections is shown below. The executive council in Dutch municipalities is called the College of the Mayor and Aldermen. Dutch, College van Burgemeester en Wethouders or College van B&W for short. The mayor is appointed by the monarch, but the Council of Aldermen is composed as a result of the formation of a local coalition government. This coalition is formed in such a way as to be able to rely on a majority of the votes in the city council. In May 2014, a coalition was formed between PETA, D66, SP and Groenlinks. Together they have 26 seats in the city council. The council of aldermen consists of the following people. The mayors of the Netherlands are not elected but appointed by the crown. Nevertheless, there has been a movement over the last few years to give the municipalities more say in who will be their mayor, which has resulted in consultative referenda being held in the larger cities to suggest a candidate for the post. This was also tried in Eindhoven and as a result the current mayor is Rob van Kitzel, Peta. On January 23, 2008, a referendum to elect a mayor was held in Eindhoven. This referendum, the second of its kind in the Netherlands, was attended by 24.6% of the inhabitants. This was less than the required 30% needed to make a referendum binding. Nevertheless, the city council would choose the winner off referendum as the preferred candidate. The main reason for the low attendance was that the candidates, Lien Verbeek and Rob van Gitzel, were from the same party. Rob Van Gitzel won the referendum with 61.8% of the votes and was appointed the city's new mayor. The mayor is the chairman of the Council of B&W. He also has responsibility for a number of specific posts, like the alderman. In the current council, Mayor Van Gitzel holds responsibility for the following posts. If unavailable, the mayor is temporarily replaced by one of the aldermen. Culturally and recreationally, Eindhoven was formed by two forces. Eindhoven is also known as the City of Light, due to the company Philips originating there and because of the several projects involving lighting up buildings off the city. During Carnival, Eindhoven is rechristened Lampigat, Hamlet of Lamps, although for the ironic purposes of Carnival the translation Holland Ground with Lamps is closer to the mark, this refers again to the important role of Philips in the Eindhoven community. There are several cultural institutions in and around the city. Eindhoven was home to the Evoluan Science Museum, sponsored by Philips. The Evoluan building has evolved into a conference center. The Eindhoven public space contains many forms of artistic expression. A book published by the Eindhoven Tourist Board records 550 as of 2001 and more have been added since, with high concentrations of them in the parks. The state's Wandel Park for instance, contains over 30 works of modern art. There are also several other works of art on permanent display throughout the city, such as Flying Pins, by Klaus Oldenburg and Kuzje van Bruggen, who considered the location on the southern stretch of the John F. Kennedy lawn to be like a bowling alley, and Swing, a construct on the Carl de Grotel lawn, which morphs into different geometric shapes as you move around it. There are also a number of statues of famous city inhabitants, such as Jan van Huff by Ockhetma, 1992, and Fritz Phillips, by Kees Burkade, on the Market Square. There is a statue of Anton Phillips in front of the Central Railway Station. Eindhoven is also, to some degree, open to forms of impromptu and alternative art. For example, the Barangkool is a free zone for graffiti artists in the city.
Streichfest is a place for experimentation with LED lighting, which keeps the historic connection with Philip's past. Some light art includes the project Fackle by Har Hollands. In the underground passage to Nat Lab artist Don Rose Gottard installed his project crystal. Streichfest is a regular location for the light festival glow. The Athenar is a popular music venue and cultural center in Eindhoven, and is located at the Dommel Strat. In 1992, the Musikzentrum Fritz Philips was opened as a stage for classical and popular music in Eindhoven, reviewed by critics as a concert hall with acoustics that rival the best halls in Europe. Before that, Philips sponsored the Park. Park Theater Eindhoven is Eindhoven's stage for opera, cabaret, ballet etc. opened in 1964. It has received over 250,000 visitors every year. With its 1,000 square meters, it has one of the largest stages in the Netherlands. With a major renovation ending in 2007, the new Park Theater will receive an estimated 300,000 visitors a year. Eindhoven's Plaza Futura is now a cinema featuring cultural movies, lectures, and special cultural events. Especially for students, Studium Generale Eindhoven organizes socially culturally and intellectually formative events. From within the student body, two tunas provide entertainment from time to time at university and city events, Tuna Ciudad de Luz, Tuna of the City of Light and the ladies Tuna La Tunina. The general music and theater scene in Eindhoven, in the broadest sense, is supported by a foundation called Pop A. The purpose of this foundation is to support artistic groups with facilities, especially rehearsal stages and areas, housed in the old Phillips location of Stride Pest but also storage facilities. Pop A also provides a working environment for groups, through cafeteria facilities and Stride Pests, so groups can have real working days and provide some logistical support for organizing events. Eindhoven has a lively recreational scene. For going out, there are numerous bars on the Market Square, Stratum Signed, Stratum Send, which is the largest pub street in the Netherlands, Dommelstraat, Wilhelmina Square and throughout the rest of the city. In addition to the more culturally oriented Plaza Futura, there are three cinemas in the center of town, Service Bioskoop Zine, View and Pate Eindhoven, which offers THX sound, IMAX screens and 3D movie viewing. Eindhoven also hosts a large number of cultural and entertainment-oriented festivals. The biggest festivals in Eindhoven are Eindhoven contains several parks and a lot of open, green space. Of the five largest cities in the Netherlands, it has the highest percentage of green area, encompassing about one-third of all public space. It is also the greenest of the five largest cities in North Brabant. The green area per house is about some of the major parks in Eindhoven are the States Wandel Park, Genper Parken, the Philips Van Lana Park, Philips de Jong Wandel Park, and the Henri de Nantes Park. There is also a green area surrounding the Carpendonks Plus, a water area. The combination of park area, water, and general atmosphere go through Evarsness neighborhood elected the best large city neighborhood of the Netherlands by the NRC Handelsblad in 1997. The old Philips factory complex has been transformed into a multi-purpose cultural and residential complex called Streichfest. This includes conference and event space, space for concerts and events, art of lighting, space for sports such as BMX, bouldering, and more, a walking promenade, etc. Eindhoven features several print media. The local newspaper, called the Eindhoven Stagblad, is a daily newspaper with over 110,000 subscribers in the Samer Kings for Bed Regio Eindhoven region. It has a national and international section, as well as a section dedicated to regional news. The editorial department is located in Eindhoven. In addition to the newspaper, Eindhoven is served by a number of weekly door to door publications. Chief among these is Groot Eindhoven, which carries publications of the city council, as well as other articles and advertisements. Other than that there are De Trompeter, De Weekend Crint and the Zondags Neu W's. The first two are delivered midweek, the last two are weekend publications. There are several regional and municipal radio stations. The local radio station is Studio 040, whereas Omru at Brabant and Royal FM provide regional radio. Local television is provided by Studio 040. Omru at Brabant broadcasts regionally from its television studio and sun. Internet. Television and telephone connectivity is available via cable television, optic fiber and ads. The Eindhoven Airport is the closest airport, located approximately from the town center. 
The airport serves as a military airbase and a civilian commercial airport. Eindhoven Airport is the second busiest in the Netherlands, after Schiphol. Ryanair serves London Stansted Airport, Dublin, Kiev, Rome, Milan, Pisa, Bordeaux, Marseille, Glasgow, Madrid, Valencia, Stockholm, Kaunas, Malta, Sofia, and Barcelona. Wizz Air serves Belgrade, Brno, Bucharest, Benesa, Budapest, Cluj Napoca, Debrecen, Gdansk, Katowice, Prague, Riga, Sofia, Timisoara, Vilnius, Wrocław. In the summer season, Reykjavik is served with two weekly flights operated by Iceland Express. Transavia services Alicante, Antalya, Bodrum, Corfu, Dalaman, Faro, Gran Canaria, Innsbruck, Malaga, Majorca, Munich, Prague, Rhodes, and Salzburg, although not all destinations during the whole year. Eindhoven Airport served more than 4.6 million passengers in 2015. Eindhoven is a rail transport hub. The main station has connections in the directions of Eindhoven Central Railway Station is served by both intercity and local services while the smaller station, Eindhoven Strijpes is only served by local trains. Towards S. Herdogenbosch, Utrecht and Amsterdam trains run every 10 minutes, on every day of the week. Up until World War II, a train service connected Amsterdam to Liege via Eindhoven and Valkenserd, but the service was discontinued and the line broken up. Recently, talks have resumed to have a service to Neerpelt, Belgium via Weert. The A2-E25 motorway from Amsterdam to Luxembourg passes Eindhoven to the west and south of the city. The A2 connects to the highway A58 to Tilburg and Breda just north of the city. Just south of Eindhoven, the A2 connects to the A67, E34 between Antwerp and Duisburg. In 2006, the A50 was completed connecting Eindhoven to Nijmegen and Svala. The public transport of Eindhoven consists of more than 20 city bus lines, which also serve neighboring cities like Veldhoven, Geldrop, and Newton. Seven of these bus lines, 400 to 407, are marketed as high quality public transport and run with 43 electric articulated buses. Two specially built separated busways, HOV1 and HOV2, are used by lines 401 to 406. Line 401 to the airport runs almost completely on separated busways. Apart from the city lines, there are some 30 regional and rush hour lines. Like all large Dutch cities, Eindhoven has an extensive network of bicycle paths. Since 2012, the Eindhoven Bicycle Path Network has incorporated the Hoven Ring. Eindhoven has two hospitals in three locations the Katerina Hospital and the Maximum Edish Centrum, which has a branch in Woonselsuid the old Diakonis and Hewis and one in Veldhoven, the old St. Joseph Hospital. These three have an extensive cooperation and have divided specialties among each other. Emergency medicine, for example, is concentrated in the MMC Veldhoven branch in the Katerina Hospital, the MMC Eindhoven branch has no emergency department. Cardiac procedures are done in the Katerina. Katerina is also an academic and research hospital and participates in a shared research program with Philips Medical the Eindhoven University of Technology and the Maastricht University into Biomedical Science, Technology and Engineering. Eindhoven is twinned with. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.